Sony's 24.6 megapixel A93 is the first mirrorless camera with a holy grail feature, the global shutter. By exposing the entire sensor at once, rather than line by line like regular cameras, it eliminates rolling shutter and boosts speed. Okay. It also removes the need for a physical shutter. Yes, the A93 is a $6,000 camera, but the technology will eventually trickle down to cheaper models. There are a couple of downsides though. Because of a global shutter's nature, image quality is reduced compared to regular CMOS sensor cameras. So how does the A93 compare to rivals, particularly fast stack sensor cameras that don't have the same image quality issues? To find out, me and my pro photographer friends put a final production A93 camera through a series of shooting scenarios. Let's see how it performed. The A93 is easily Sony's best handling camera yet. The redesigned grip is more comfortable and secure, a boon to working pros with heavy lenses. At the same time, it's surprisingly light at just 617 grams. There are three top control dials and it has a pair of dual dual setting dials for video photos plus shooting modes along with burst and AF modes. You also get a rear joystick, D-pad type dial and no less than five custom buttons. Everything is well placed, so it's a cinch to shoot manually. Should you need to delve into the menus, those are also Sony's best. Settings are divided logically into categories and the home menu shows key options at a glance. Everything can be customized and you can back up your settings to a memory card. The high resolution 2 million dot rear display is of course touch sensitive for focus and menu control. It flips out and tilts up or down to please both photographers and creators. The viewfinder is the best on any camera with 9.43 million dots at 120 hertz or half that at 240 hertz. That level of sharpness makes it easy to check focus and colors. Battery life is a solid 500 shots, but you can double that with a new $400 vertical grip. It has a dual card slot setup with both high speed UHS-2 and CF Express. As usual with Sony, the latter is the slower type A variety. Other key features include headphone and mic ports. There's also a full-sized HDMI port, USB-C charging port, Ethernet, live streaming capability, and more. With the global shutter and AI processor, Sony's A93 is the fastest wow. full-frame camera in the world. Compressed raw bursts can be shot at an incredible 120 frames per second with autofocus and auto exposure. A big caveat is that the 120 frame per second mode only works with certain Sony lenses, with third party lenses limited to 15 frames per second. The buffer holds 200 raw frames, so it fills up in less than two seconds at maximum speed. It takes longer to clear the buffer than it should as well, due to the slower CF Express Type A cards. In any case, shooting at 120 frames per second is ludicrous most of the time, unless you like wading through thousands of photos after. Sony does have a solution though. You can shoot at say 30 frames per second, which is still quick, then press the C5 button to enable the hyperfast mode at key moments. That way you'll get the shot you want without wasting frames. The A93 is also the first Sony camera to use a pre-capture mode that saves a second of photos when you half press the shutter button. After you fully press it, those photos are saved along with any taken after. Your photos will usually be sharp too. The 759 phase detect focus points allow for extremely rapid and accurate autofocus in most situations. For regular continuous AF, it can keep up with even the fastest action. The AI powered subject detection shines too. Face tracking works with subjects that are farther away and it follows someone tenaciously even when they duck behind obstacles. Human tracking is fast and fluid and you can easily see if it's locked onto eyes, face or body. It can auto switch between birds and animals or you can choose one or the other along with insects, cars and trains. You can also select any distinctive object and the system will usually track it reliably. The bottom line is that it rarely misses focus, so it's great for professional sports, wildlife, events, and more. Of course, it's not infallible and can mix up subjects, but is better than any camera I've tried to date. 
The A93 has no need for a mechanical shutter because there's no rolling shutter distortion, meaning you can shoot in complete silence at all times. With that, it's perfect for sports like golf, as you can shoot a player in mid-swing without disturbing them, and a club in motion won't be distorted. It also allows for extremely fast shutter speeds up to 1 80,000th, and it can sync with supported flashes all the way up to that speed. It also eliminates the flicker and banding from venue lights, another big aid for sports photographers. Sony has boosted its in-body stabilization up to eight stops with supported lenses, allowing you to take photos at a quarter second or less. That matches Canon's EOS R3 and is above the Nikon Z9 and Sony's own A1. That takes us to the main issue with this camera image quality. To test that, I shot in situations including gymnasiums, night scenes, bird shooting, an airport and more. There's no question that dynamic range is reduced compared to Sony cameras like the A1 by at least a stop. The reason is that the sensor has less light capacity due to the space taken up by the extra electronics required for a global shutter. It also has a smaller ISO range both on the high and low end. Minimum ISO is not great at 250 and at the high end, ISO is limited to 25,600, half that of the A9 II. In general, there's more noise and less dynamic range at a given ISO than the A9 II. So for landscapes, portraits and other types of photography, the A9 III falls short of other recent full frame cameras. That said, you'd need to pixel peep to really notice any difference in image quality up to about ISO 6400. For the intended audience of sports, action, and wildlife shooters, it's more than sufficient. Otherwise, images are typical for Sony with accurate colors and skin tones. The 14-bit RAW files are easy to work with and allow some pushing and pulling, particularly in highlights. Low-light images are noisier as well, but still usable up to the maximum 25,600 ISO with noise reduction. The A93 also has incredible video specs. 4K at up to 60 frames per second is super sampled using the full 6K sensor width or 4K at 120 frames per second with pixel binning. Raw 4K capture at 60 frames per second is also possible via an external recorder. All of these modes are available with 10-bit S-Log3 recording to expand dynamic range in challenging lighting situations. That's just the start of the A93's video powers. Autofocus is as fast and accurate in video as stills mode and has all the same AI features. That means you'll be sure to keep even fast moving subjects sharp, whether they're people, birds, animals, or vehicles. Those who prefer to shoot manually get Sony's focus map feature. It has the auto framing seen on previous Sony models like the ZV-E1 that lets YouTubers move around while filming themselves. You also get the digital zoom feature that reduces focus breathing for supported lenses with some loss of quality. Airplane propeller distortion in video is a telltale sign of a rolling shutter camera, so naturally we had to test the A93 at an airport against Sony's stack sensor A1. Our findings? The A1 still produces bendy propellers, but they're of course dead straight on the A93. That trivial test has large implications. You can shoot things like whip pans or a fast moving train that you'd never try with a rolling shutter sensor. And since everything is exposed at once like a film camera, it's more cinematic. Video stabilization matches the excellent level found on the ZV-E1. Regular optical stabilization is good for handheld shots without much movement, or you can kick in the dynamic active mode for walking. That provides near gimbal levels of smoothness, though there's a considerable zoom and loss of sharpness. Much as with photos, video quality isn't quite up to other full frame cameras with more noise in general. I shot S-Log3 most of the time to maximize dynamic range and was satisfied with the results. In low light, I was forced to use some noise reduction. Quality is still better than any APS-C mirrorless or cinema camera though. I think the global shutter advantages, particularly the elimination of rolling shutter, will be worth the trade-off in quality for a large number of videographers. We've been waiting for global shutter cameras for years, 
and Sony clearly felt that the time was finally right. It was a wise calculation. The A93 is far better than I expected for a first-gen product. It offers mind-blowing speeds and incredible video capabilities with a small cost and image quality, especially for its intended market. Its primary rivals are the $4,800 Canon R3, Sony's own $6,500 A1, the $5,600 Nikon Z9, and $3,800 Z8, all stack sensor cameras. The latter three offer much higher resolution and better picture quality, plus shooting speeds that are still darn fast. They all have some rolling shutter though, along with flicker and flash sync issues that don't exist on the A93. Whether it's worth a leap into this all new technology depends on the buyer. Action photographers and videographers won't blink at the cost given the advantages. Unless you really need those benefits though, Nikon's Z8 for one is a more versatile camera at a much lower price. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And for more on technology, check out Engadget.com.